Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Lots uh, of rain uh, this morning at my house. I imagine that was pretty widespread. Yeah, we still have some downpours out yeah. there. And in the coming days, we may have a tropical system in the Atlantic. It mm. won't be called Stu because we <laughs> start with A, so it would be Alex. Um, Not Alice. No, not Alice. I don't not want to be Alice responsible either. for that. I don't either. <laughs> this, no is, this is what the satellite looks like. There's nothing really super organized, but you can see some of the red and purple clusters here, basically between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. That's actually what's left over from Agatha, which hit Mexico not too long ago. But it's a different set of names in the Atlantic. So if it redevelops, and the red color means it's likely, it would be Alex and the trajectory brings it over Florida in the next five days, but the modeling is weak. So maybe tropical storm, maybe weak hurricane, but at this rate, it doesn't seem like it'll be a strong storm if and when it does redevelop. But how about the weather we have today? Looks like in some ways early November, if you don't look at the leaves on the trees, temperatures in the 60s for so many, it's only 63. In Plattsburgh, for example, but the humidity is gone, so comfortable, comfortably cool, certainly. 58 at the base of Whiteface right now, and the lake temperature at 55 near shore, 60 in Lebanon. So the downpour is mostly south and west for the rest of this evening and diminishing. A couple of showers, though. One is just moving into uh, the Colchester and Burlington area, not very heavy, just some light rain. And the yellow pockets are mostly out by Tupper Lake and over towards southern St. Lawrence County, south of Potsdam. That is where most of the action is in southern Vermont, largely dry, maybe a light shower in the next hour or two. But we're missing the severe weather. It's down in Pennsylvania, so just not warm enough today. Not quite there. Too much on the cool side for that. So saved us from having to track damaging wind. Now tomorrow is a dry day, but the clouds are mostly still with us. There may be a break of sun or two. And then a little more rain Friday early, but we'll dry out in time for the weekend. So the lake level keeps going down slowly. You can see for a time there two weeks ago, the curve kind of flattened out after a decent rainstorm. But 97.39, that is the most recent lake level. So we dry out overnight. Clouds are still with us through tomorrow. Low 70s, so it's a little bit warmer. And then Friday morning, this is a new run of future A couple of showers, but look how fast they're moving out. 8 o'clock, we're starting to see increasing sunshine over northern New York, and that proceeds over Vermont. So it's looking like a much nicer day, especially later on for the first day of Jazz Fest and then over the weekend also looking good as well. But we don't really warm up that much. It's low to mid 70s for the next five days, which is close to or a little below the average for early June standards. So tonight the showers wrap up by midnight or so and for uh, most of us they're already done. 73 the high tomorrow in Burlington with the clouds. Same in St. Albans, Malone also in the low 70s. And for Southern Vermont, we've got a 74 in Rockingham. So here's the five day forecast with a dry weekend, sun and clouds the whole time, low 70s. So on the cool side, but not tracking showers after the weekend until Tuesday of next week. Stu?